This program is intended for mature audiences only. Specific content warnings can be found in the show notes. listening to this <laughs> if, if you're listening to this you're probably one of the <coughs> beings that have been trying to communicate with me and now at least one of you are on your way here I have no intent of being here when you arrive Trapper if you were ever there, I'm sorry I was weak. The fog is just beyond the door. The light's fading. It's cold as hell. There's frost on the windows, but the angles of the crystals are all off. All the rules let go in the end, even geometry. I should have gone looking for you in the beginning, but all I did was watch and listen. A comet up there, the Ur Comet, it crosses all the skies, tears holes in the fabric of things, and something came up through the cracks, something that hides its voice, burns worlds. And then there's the other transmission, which isn't that much more promising, because something I did made all of this worse and I might still be doing it I'm a coward trapper as you yourself are fond of saying what am I supposed to do in the face of all this but run we can hear the tower squealing she's coming down soon one more signal one more minimum survivability check then we walk into the fog together and I'll start looking for you I promise ready here goes a gracious good evening for all of you out there in Lincoln County and beyond this is desert weather on the hour Tomorrow, Zenith will see a high of 95 degrees, but that's tomorrow's problem. Tonight, we've got a breeze from the north, and it's going to get down as low as 62 degrees. So keep those windows open and breathe in that night air. Well, I tell you, this isn't the first cluster of sightings in our neck of the woods. You recall back in Art 6, the Monoff Plains lights. But these new, uh, reports, taken together with the appearance of the comet, well, folks, it's hard not to be a little excited. It's really obvious to me, folks. But let me tell you, it's a message, you see? You have to think critically. Everyone is looking at the comet. Now, I'm not saying they made the comet. That would be absurd. But you have a guaranteed audience. Attention undivided. They're telling us something, and we're too stupid to listen. I was listening to that. Well, I, I didn't. Uh, Be Betty, something's funny here. It's the Watcher in the Dark, and I've got my eye on you. I just want to talk. You know the number. Call in now to tell me what's on your mind at Klondike 54209. Why are there so many noisy crickets? I mean, it's the desert. There's bugs out here. You recording, Scoobs? Yeah, yeah, I think so. But it's dark in the viewer even with the light? 
<laughs> Take the cap off the lens, stupid. Oh, shit. What was that comet called again? The Belnori Comet. And we're gonna have the best seats in the house, baby. Groovy. Yeah, not only will we be in the best spot to see this mysterious comet, never to return again in our mere human lifetimes. Oh God. But I have brought along something to really make this night a memorable one. <clears throat> Prepare for Ugh. the Vera Protocol. Call, call, call. The what a what what? I said the Vera. That's just what he calls smoking a joint because of his aunt Vera. She's basically the town's biggest distributor. Unofficially. <laughs> I could take you to her garden sometime and you can meet her. Guys? Yeah, but she'll be pissed if she finds you've been in her things again. Gimme, it's my turn. Oh, gadzooks, whatever shall I do? Gang? Seriously, man, she seemed really angry last time. She might cut you off for real. Hey, assholes! <laughs> Rude. What, man? What the fuck is that? Oh shit, are we missing the comet? Oh man, that! Over by Nazi Cavern! <laughs> are those lights? Freaky. Jeepers. Jeepers creepers. Let's go check it out. What? No way. Are you freaking kidding me, man? No way in hell! Let's fucking go. Now. What steps ahead of you, Look man? Look at idiots, let's go! Right behind you! The timing with the comet simply cannot be ignored. Now, what seems to be most unusual to my mind is the location of these sightings. Now, it's not strange for them to appear around civil defense spaces. That's a long observed phenomenon. And whether the lights have any relation to the Civil Defense Force is, of course, hotly debated. But, usually mysterious lights are reported in the sky. Good evening, Zenith. This is The Watcher in the Dark, and we're back. Thanks for staying with us. Now, far be it from me to dictate the topic of this show. When the sun goes down, everything's on the table. But at this point, it seems well and truly out of my control. Radar, have we have we had a single call that wasn't about the lights? We have not. You know, I wasn't done talking about the comet, to be honest. You get to see it? <clears throat> yeah, beautiful. Man of words and letters. Why am I talking to you? Mm, poor judgment. Seems if I want proper conversation, I'm going to have to engage with the people. Who we got on one? Anna from Parkerstown. Hello, Anna. What's on your mind? That'd be the lights. Shocking. Now let me get this out of the way. Have you seen them? Yeah, I have. I was telling your producer. Well, he's an idiot. Why don't you tell me again? I've seen them two nights running now. We're north of the base, so we're used to seeing aircraft, but I can pick those birds out just fine. Well, first off, the lights wasn't coming out the base. They came up out the canyon. You said they came up out of the canyon? Yes, sir. You're identifying a trend here, Anna. Usually, we hear about strange lights coming out of the sky, but not this time. Can you tell us what they look like? Well, no. That's the strange part. Of course. Of course. They're bright, that's for sure. But past that, it's like my eyes wouldn't focus on them, you know? No matter how hard I tried. My dear, I have an astigmatism I absolutely understand. I hope you have a lovely night and check in with the optometrist, just to be sure, won't you? I will. I will. Radar, tell me a little bit about number two. Pierce from downtown Zenith. Pierce, you're on the air. What is it this time? I want to talk about the lights. Then please do. It's bullpucky. Uh-huh. And? They've got us looking up at the sky for a comet. And now it wasn't long enough, so now we're outside looking for lights. It's bullpucky. To what end? How do you figure now? They want us outside, you say. What's their angle here? Oh. I don't know. I guess I hadn't thought about that yet. And I guess you should, uh, radar, door number three. We got none of your business from Central I Ain't Tellin'. Oh, that sounds familiar. Ray, how are you? Come on, man, I asked you not to do that. My apologies, John Doe. What's your thinking about these lights? Well, I know exactly what they are. You do? 
Well, please go on. I mean, it's obvious. Even the last guy was halfway there. Well, you're going to have to lead us by the hand there, John. The comet, and now this. It's conditioning. Something really bad is coming, and right now, they're teaching us not to panic. So when the real... Can I swear? You know you cannot. So when the real crap hits the fan, we'll all sit right down and just let it happen. Again, I have to ask, let what happen? Look, don't be thick, all right? Okay, you know what? It's my show. If I want to be thick, I will be thick. Thank you. I think it's time for us to get to a station break anyways, but if you want to talk about absolutely anything else, I beg you, call me. Good news, your wife is on one with the dinner report. I want you to understand this, because to my mind, it's perfectly clear. There should have been a statement right now. Even a bald-faced whopper lets you have a sneak peek at the truth. But the fact that they haven't offered up an explanation? Folks, that should be the scariest part. They don't even know how to lie about it. Greetings, America. It's midnight here in the desert. I'm Dove Candle. And this is Candle Against the Dark. Al Dryan. Al Dryan. Nobody knows. Can it, Leroy? I've got a headache. How dry I am. It ain't nobody gives a damn. You've got nobody to blame but yourself, Leroy. As a matter of fact, I'm driving drunk around here. Ain't nobody else on the roads. Such. I'm not even drunk. Which makes this... false imprisonment! Aw, sleep it off already, will you? You're just mad I stole your girl back in junior high. Leroy, you somehow managed to graduate high school before I was even born. Oh, that's right. It was your daddy's girl that I stole. (laughs) This is Deputy Pinback calling in. Over. Hey, Pinhead. I said can it, Leroy. I'll leave you in there longer than tonight if you keep this up. This is Wade. What do you need, Val? Over. The damn radios. Repeat, Pinback. We lost you. Sheriff Wade! Sir, I swear... We, we need to tell you something crazy, important. Like, we right we now. We saw them. And, uh, They're coming uh, right hey, up. Hey, we uh, saw hey. them. One at a time. Okay, so we were out in the Outlook by Naati Cavern, waiting for the comet, you know? And we saw these lights coming out of yeah, the ground. Yeah, sir, it was like the freakiest Honest, thing. Honest, Sheriff Wade, we saw them coming up out of the ground and floating on the wind towards town. We came straight away. Fred and Daphne went to the mayor's house to tell her, too. Uh-huh. Casey, come here a second. You been, uh, been getting into your Aunt Vera's things again? What? No. I, I mean, uh, okay, to be honest, sir, yes, yes, but... Did you all drive even... here under the influence? What am I going to do with you kids? Leroy here would love some company. No, we sir, know... I drove. I didn't take anything. Look, we have the lights on video. Lights? Did you say lights? <sighs> that, uh, that doesn't look like much of anything. I mean, it's so dark it could be any number of things. I see them. I seen them lights. Oh, God. I, I told you, Wade. I told you. Them, them lights was making their merry way across the road, ro- ro- rolling along like goddamn tumbleweeds. It's moon men, I tells you. They're finally making their attack. Leroy, that is enough. No more lights. No more moon men. I don't want to hear a peep from any one of you anymore tonight. You three, sit. We're going to call your parents. Leroy, if I have to hear one more crackpot theory out of your mouth, I swear... All right. Maybe it's night movement. And I'll even admit, right here, right now, that yeah, maybe maybe I have had a little bit to drink tonight. But I ain't never hallucinated nothing before. Not even in my worst times. And you know that damn well, Wade. And I seen them lights. I don't right know what they was. But I seen them. 
This is Deputy Pally. Anybody home? Over. What, Earl? You didn't say over. Over. Not tonight, Earl. Roger that, sir. I've got a few folks over here at Wally's talking about some kind of weird something they saw, but I can't get a straight story out of anyone. Should I tell them to come down to the station to give statements? They seem real shook up, sir. Over. <sighs> yeah. Send them down. Over and out. I'll stay put. I'll get back to you. Hello? Hey, there's my gal. Oh, Lord. A late night call from you only comes with trouble. What do you want, Wade? Light of my life, my sweet darling, we have got some strange stuff going on in our little town tonight. And we are going to need some help taking statements. Could you be a dear and head on down? Oh, fine. But this counts as overtime and you give me Pinback's parking spot. Done. You're the best. Don't I know it. Besides, I've got your nephew here with an interesting story you'll want to hear. Has that little shit been in my things again? Seems like there's a lot of concern out there in Lincoln County. And I won't tell you how to feel about all that. But what I can tell you is that as sure as that sun is going to rise tomorrow, it's going to be a beautiful day in the high desert. Just a speck of cloud cover, and that cool breeze is going to make itself at home for another day. Hello? Psych, just kidding. I'm out living my life. Leave a message at the beep. Hey, kiddo. I know you're busy doing stuff out there in the big city and all, but I was just calling to check on ya. Your dad's getting in a tizzy about all these lights rumors, but you know how he can get. As far as I'm concerned, it's all nonsense. Ain't nothing ever come up out of the ground except worms and plants, and at least those things are useful. Anyway, I hope you're doing okay out there. Give us a call when you get a chance. Love you, Peanut. <laughs> I mean, at this point, it just feels like mass hysteria. I don't know, sis. Lots of reasonable folk are worried. <gasps> oh, God, Albert. Not you, too. Something weird's going on, kiddo. I haven't seen anything, but you gotta feel it, right? It's not just the lights. <laughs> I'm glad you called. I missed your voice. Am I gonna see you tonight? I am so, so sorry. But I just can't. I'm having a real rough time, Al. I don't think I can be around people tonight. No, no, I hear you. I'm sorry you're still freaked out about all this. Why don't you grab your shoes, go for a run? Doc Bill said exercise might help, right? <laughs> yes. Look, I swear I've been taking them. I just counted them and double-checked, and the math checks out. <laughs> and you know that I don't have the visual ones that often anyway, so this is, this is super, super weird. I mean, it's been years hey, since hey, I even... Hey, I hey, 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 Slow down for a second. Let's take a deep breath. Let, let's, do, let's do it together. Let's inhale. Exhale. Great. Now... Run through it again for me, please. You said you were out hiking, and you saw the lights that other people have been talking about? Yeah, they were coming out of the abandoned mine this time. And I swear, Doc, I swear I saw something else moving in there. So, but what did you see exactly? I don't know. I didn't stick around to find out. I, I ran right back to my truck and came home to call you. Okay, you, you did the right thing. I, I can't speak to these lights, but... I can tell you, I've been hearing a lot of similar stories lately, so you're, you're not alone. You're not alone. But let's be extra sure and just get you in the office sooner than later to make, to make sure your meds are doing their job, okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I have two important questions, though. Do you feel safe? And is there someone else who can stay with you? Yeah, I'm safe. I don't feel like, I mean, it's not like that, you know. But I could see if Margie can come over again. Great. 
Uh, I'm going to transfer you over to admin. We'll get this appointment scheduled. Thanks, Doc. So, is there a reward for seeing the lights? Leroy, why would there be a reward? You got a wall plastered with pictures of folk that you're offering rewards for. Don't act like it was a silly question, Barney Fife. You got a crime to report? Mm. Give me give me about twenty minutes. I understand that, sir, and I respect the need for national security in a case like this, but the caves are not and have never been under your jurisdiction, which means I don't need your permission, do I? If I didn't know any better, I'd say that sounds like a threat. Uh huh. I'll let you know what I find out there. Thanks for your assistance. Now, I don't want you to think I'm not taking this seriously. I've been all over this land, I've seen some mighty strange things, but that doesn't mean I'm going to laugh it off. What I can offer you is a safe space to talk about it. Talk to me. Tell me what's worrying you. Hey, heads up, Central. That car drove by the West Gatehouse again? A uh, blue late model import. Yeah, we've been watching it on the closed circuit. Looks like it's just some light seers that got turned around on Pike. Has it been like this all week? Nah, it's getting worse. It'll die down by midnight, unless the light show happens again. <sighs> Let's hope not. Cody Watt Central, this is Airborne One. Ah, uh, beans. Go ahead, Airborne. We have visual on the lights. Roger that. Keep your distance and your cameras rolling. Higher density of them than before. Christ, that's a lot. Same exit point as before? Intel thinks there may be multiple. Can't tell. I've got maybe ten times as many contacts on the radar as before, all under a thousand. What the fuck? Mayday, mayday. I'm on the Airborne, come in. Shit. All stations to ready. Red alert. We have a pilot down. Thunderhead, do you have a visual on Airborne 1? Negative. Negative. We lost contact. Can't get a fix on anything down there. Central, this is Westgate. The whole sky just lit up out here. Are you guys seeing this? Fellas, I think we ought to... Westgate, do you copy? Shit. Shit! Thunderhead! We lost the closed circuit in the internals. We're in the dark. Tell us what the hell is going on out there! Thunderhead, repeat. We're losing your signal. What can you see? General effect now. They're right on top of you. Shit. Get that goddamn beacon out! Central! Central! Come in, Central. Big left! Big left! This is Kauniwat Civil Air Defense Installation on all emergency channels requesting immediate assistance and support. The nature of the emergency is undefined. This automated message will repeat. If you can hear this broadcast, get indoors. Get safe. We don't know what's happening, and we won't until we reconnect with the network. But what we do know is that it is not safe to be outdoors. Go inside. Do not look at the lights. Stay safe. Pin back, Pally, do you copy? I said, do you copy? Over. Vera? Huh? Maybe 20, 25 survivors. It's hard to tell. All right, we'll send a signal when the evacuation convoy is near. Hey, apologies for the intrusion. I'm in need of some assistance. Who's this, please? Sheriff Wade, Lincoln County, can y'all tell me what's going on out here? I'm looking at 
multiple fires all across Zenith, and I don't see a single goddamn emergency vehicle. I assure you we're aware of the damage to Zenith. Sheriff, we've been looking for you. Well, that's good, because I need to talk to somebody in charge. I have important intel. I'm going to put you on with General Orson of the National Guard here at the Ford Bivouac. She can get you up to speed. Is this him? Voice for an ID matches? Mm, close enough. Go. Wade! Can I call you Wade? General Orson here. We understand you made an ill-advised trip to the caverns last Please, night. Please, stop. Listen to me. They've been down there. They, they must have been preparing for decades. There's, I don't know, a doorway. A big one. That goes somewhere else. But they're bringing more lights through. Lots more. Wade, we can send a convoy to come get you. We can debrief you here where it's safer. Listen, they're just people. I don't know what I expected, but they were just... people. Why did they attack the town? What the hell did these folk ever do? Wade, it's not just your town. What do you mean? It's all over the country. Probably the world. But our satellites all came down last night. We're back to bouncing signals off the cloud layer for the time being. Looks like they came out of just about every cavern. All at once. Like you said, they must have been preparing. I am sorry about Zenith, Sheriff, but we don't have the resources to fight fires. This is an evacuation effort now. Evacuation? To where? To the closest civil defense base, for the time being. But eventually, away from the limestone and gypsum bedrock. We need to get as far away from the caves as possible. Like you said, we have every reason to believe that they will continue to emerge. I need to sit down. Okay, catch your breath. Your ride is inbound, and we got a lot of work to do. We need you. This is a civil defense bulletin. Your home is under attack. You are not safe where you are. Please proceed to your nearest civil defense base or listen to this message to receive evacuation orders. Stay clear from all caves and mines. Your curiosity is not worth your safety. If you are able, help those around you to prepare for evacuation. We are a community. No disaster can erase that. Only together will we survive and thrive. Northern Lincoln County, your eastbound evacuation route is as follows. I hate to say it, folks. I hate to say it. But it's exactly like I said. Exactly! I don't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. So, there's no doubts about what comes next. Uh-huh. You're on your own, people. I mean, you always were. But now, you know it. Now the grasshoppers are going to come out of the woodwork. They're going to come knocking. What right do they have to be rescued? They wasted away their time. Those who fiddled away their safety. If you are listening to the transmission, you will be able to get to the evacuation center. Remember, it's been a long time. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Can someone hear you? We have a medical help for the slachtoffer. I repeat, a medical help for the slachtoffer. We have a refugee down on the earth. Eviten a toda costa refugiarse en cuevas naturales. Eviten las. Do not panic. Make your way in an orderly fashion to your nearest evacuation site. Move in groups and watch out for one another. Lincoln County, if you are hearing me, help is on the way. Evacuation convoys are moving eastbound. If your vehicle still functions, please stay with your community. I don't... I don't know what we can do to help. But we're on the backup transmitter. We have at least one line open. So, if you need help, we'll see what we can do. Like always, right we are. Well, I lost the signal. Wherever that was, it's gone for good. I almost walked out. I did. I almost went, but I'm... I'm already there. 
And that me, I don't think I can compete. Or maybe there's always going to be a reason. Maybe cowardice keeping me sitting here until... Shit! Well, that would be the tower. Just tilted into the fog and she's gone. Ah, well. We didn't have time for another one. Anyway, time for me to be gone too. I hope I can find you out there, but if not, somewhere in the best of all possible worlds, I know you're doing fine. So, until the next time, Trapper, this... <coughs> Who the fuck are you? Observable Radio. Tonight's episode, High Strange, was performed by the ensemble, featuring Phil Van Hest, Wendy Hector, Nathaniel Lee, Jenica McCrayer, James Baker, David Wu, Daniel Profeta, Natalie Berge, Ray Witte, Jesse Liao, Caitlin Eve, Tatiana Gefter, Jack Rigoli, Kai Trong, Cohen Edenfield, Chris Straub, Perperina, AJ Fidalgo, Voice Del Monte, Yami Kaku, Meredith Goldsmith, Michelle Lilia Tan, Terry Menard, Hector Leal, Dave Sherman, Katie Scovholt, Teddy Scott, Kimberly Scott, Ray Lundberg, Xavier Nelson Jr., Keanu Raubin, Rosemary Thorne, Joseph Faraday, Jason Smith, and Melissa Kay. Written by Cameron Suey and Perperina. Produced by Cameron Suey, Phil Van Hast, and Perperina. Edited by Cameron Suey. Our psychology consultant is Dr. Elisa Leal. Art by Corinne Fletcher. Our theme is The Backrooms, performed by Mew. Additional music for this episode provided by By Loftus, Courses, Nikki G, Tim Kulig, Brendan Moeller, and Ondelet. Additional sound design by Purpurina. Observable Radio is listener supported. Thanks to all of our patrons and listeners, including Kathleen, John, Jeff, Tid, Russ, Rick, Rachel, Callison, and Brianna. If you would like to contribute towards our production costs and payment for our voice actors, as well as get access to behind-the-scenes information, extra production material, and an ad-free early release feed of this show, you can do so at patreon.com slash observable radio. Full transcripts and more available at observableradio.com. Stick around after the credits for a look at Haunted Tales, a weekly horror fiction podcast created by Robert and Melissa Kay. Thank you for listening, and stay tuned. Amygdala, 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 amygdala. <laughs> Looking for something scary, morbid, frighteningly insane. Get out. Every form of horror, from ghosts, cryptids, and curses, to deals with the devil, giant insects, and more. Join us at Haunted Tales, our weekly horror anthology series, and let me tell you a story.